In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best keto flour that anyone can use on the keto diet. We're going to get straight into it as we have a ton of information to cover. First, I'm going to give you the recipe for this keto flour and afterwards we will discuss substitutions so you can customize it to your needs. And away we go. Add 360 grams or three cups of chicken flour to a bowl or container. We will talk about substitutions very soon. Next, add 60 grams or one cup of bamboo fiber, 48 grams or five tablespoons of gelatin powder, and 80 grams or one cup of egg white protein powder. You can either mix it by hand or whisk with the mixer on the lower setting. Do check that the flour is mixed really well and you can store this in your pantry for up to one year. Of course, this is a recipe for standard baking flour. We will not be producing another video to revise this flour. This flour has been well researched for about six months. And we thought that it's so much better just to have one container. And what's the problem with adding your baking powder when you add wet ingredients? You're gonna save space in your pantry. You're gonna get through all this flour much quicker because you're gonna be using it for self-raising and standard flour. So I think it's worth it just to have one batch. For example, if you're making a recipe for one person, you would need maximum a teaspoon of baking powder. And if you're making a family size, say bread, for example, you would use a tablespoon. Let's talk about the ingredients I used. Why, alternatives, how to get them, and why I think this flour is for everyone on the keto diet, even if you have allergies. I use chicken flour because it's actually zero carb, carnivore friendly and I haven't heard of anyone having a chicken allergy. <laughs> also, once the chicken is processed into a flour, the shelf life on it is actually a year. I made mine a month ago and it's still as fresh as the day I made it. And this chicken flour is actually by Carnivore Crisps. You may have heard of it before, but I have actually arranged a 10% discount for you. So if you want to purchase your chicken flour, do check the links in the description box and you will get my discount code. If even with the 10% discount, it's still a little bit expensive for you. I have done a little one minute video showing you how to make your own chicken flour. And if you want that recipe, do note that the full recipe is written in the description box of that video. And I'm going to leave a link to that little video in the description box as well. Now there's actually homemade chicken flour in this <laughs> keto flour. And it cost me 25 bucks and I used a chicken breast. So I feel like with all that info, you can purchase it or you can make your own. I feel that chicken flour is now accessible to everyone. By the way, you are not restricted to just using chicken. You can use beef of your choice. And if you decide to use pork rinds, I would watch the sodium. You're better off, you know, cooking down or poaching your pork and following the same process that I use to make the chicken flour. There are so many other options for you to use instead of a meat-based flour as well. Of course, you have almond flour, pecan flour that's really low in carbs and you can use walnut flour but I found that the lowest in carb nut flour is actually Brazil nuts and if you want to use lupin flour you sure can just bear in mind that lupin is actually quite absorbent so all you need to do is add a couple more tablespoons of water to the batter. Let's take a break from discussing ingredient options for now and let me show you a recipe for one serving and what you can do with it. And with all this fiber, this batter is zero grams of net carbs. Strap in folks, you got a lot of options. Add four tablespoons of your keto flour to a bowl one teaspoon of baking powder, one egg white, and three to four tablespoons of water, depending on how absorbent the ingredients you used are. Mix together well, and by the container I'm using, you may have guessed we are making 90 second bread. I like to try and make the middle a little hollow because we know 90 second bread can rise in the middle more than the edges. Okay, I microwave that for 90 seconds as I have a 700 watt microwave, 
and this is how it turned out. I also toasted it on setting four and if you like your toast crispier, do toast it for longer. You would do the same if you want to make a 90 second bun. Just place it in a greased ramekin. And this tip is for those of you who don't like cooking in a microwave. Place the batter into a greased baking pan, then bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius for about 20 minutes. And here is the result. Soft, light, and an airy bun. And if you bake bread, it would have the same texture. What about 90 second tortillas, wraps and tacos? Pour one third of the batter onto a plate to make a tortilla and microwave for 90 seconds. You want to leave it in the microwave for a few minutes without opening the door so it solidifies in the middle and then gently remove it from the plate with the spatula or something similar. I didn't try greasing the plate first, so you could try that if you think it might help make this part easier. For tacos, it depends on the size you want, but I would go with adding a couple of tablespoons of the batter to the plate and follow the same process. Also, if you let these dry out or overcook it a little, they make great chips. I am so leaving that in. And by the way, if ever you're in the market for taco holders, these are an exceptional quality and they're supplied to professional chefs and catering companies. I honestly feel like you will never need to buy taco holders ever again. They're so good. Links in the description box. I also wanted to test this batter out frying it to make pancakes, tortillas, naan bread, tacos and pancakes. Over a medium heat, I added a little butter to the pan to grease it. Then I added one third cup of the batter and spread it. I sprinkled a little garlic powder over the surface to make a garlic naan bread. And when the underside was cooked, flipped it over and did the same thing. And this is how it turned out. And because I have a very curious mind, I had another question. How would this batter perform in a kitchen gadget to make chaffles and waffles and whatnot? To make a chaffle, I heated up the waffle maker and added half of the batter and spread it. I waited about four minutes and just take a look at this. To make waffles, I added a little sweetener and vanilla to the batter, add one tablespoon of softened cream cheese and mix that well. Added half the batter, spread it and let it cook for a few minutes and this is how it turns out. I would like to shine a spotlight on bamboo flower. It's not new, but it is an unsung hero for the keto world, I believe. This is what it looks like. Very fine white powder, almost like baby powder kind of consistency. You can probably see it floating through the air. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Obviously it's plant-based. So you would think, oh, it's a big no-no for carnivore, but please do hear me out. Bamboo fiber actually contains silica, which supports production of collagen, which as we all know, promotes the health of hair, skin, and nails. One amazing thing you might not know is that it can actually help regulate cholesterol levels and can help you fight cancer. Now you may or may not be concerned with fighting cancer, but hair loss on keto and cholesterol issues are a huge concern. From a baking perspective though, Adding bamboo fiber to your flour will make it very much like a regular flour. And this product is the sole reason of why we have so many substitutes for the chicken flour. It's so forgiving. It was available on Amazon US for the longest time, but it's recently gone out of stock. Now I contacted the supplier or the company who makes it and they're called Zimmermans from Germany. <laughs> 
I know my husband's gonna leave this blip in. Oh, for sure. Anyway, Zimmermans have assured me that their stock is actually with Amazon US already and you will be able to purchase it very soon. Failing that and if they take a long time, we still have so many other options for you. We actually got this bamboo flower from Amazon Germany and that supplier ships worldwide. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can get your bamboo fiber. If you're in Australia, Local Foods are giving us a 10% discount store-wide. And if you're in the UK, I got you too. All these links will be available in the description box. As for the other ingredients, I use gelatin as a binder because it is a beef product. If you have an issue with beef and say you're vegetarian, for example, you can get plant-based gelatin. I know somebody's gonna ask me, why don't you use xanthan gum? But <laughs> xanthan gum can actually cause digestive issues. And actually a lot of people don't like using xanthan gum for that very reason. The other thing too is this is gonna be my go-to flower and I don't wanna develop digestive issues in the future either. And lastly, egg white protein powder. Now, if you are a subscriber of mine and you watch my recent videos, you will be seeing the results I'm getting with bread. We're talking four inch high bread and the results have been amazing just with one change and that is adding egg white protein powder. So I feel like that's going to give you great success. You're going to get a beautiful flower. It's also the reason why I've asked you to add a cup's worth of egg white protein powder. You're going to get a good rise. You're going to get a soft dough. It's going to be good. I don't have an exact substitute for egg white protein powder though. I believe you can make your own. The closest I would say is unflavored protein powder, but there again, it just doesn't give you the same results. So you might be wondering, how did you come up with this recipe, Mel? Well, this recipe has taken me six months to develop. In February of this year, I made a commitment to fix or at least improve my hair loss issues. And together with my love of German bread, of course I looked up what they do for keto and that is genuinely how I came across bamboo fiber. I actually gave our viewers a lot of hints about bamboo fiber in one of our li lives and that was aired in May. And what about the chicken flour? Well, to be honest with you, I only learned about chicken flour when carnivore crisps got in contact with me and said, would you like to try our product? And then, you know, I showed it in one of our lives yet again and people were saying, oh, it's really expensive now. So I was thinking and I was thinking and that, that's how I ended up making my own. Well, we've run out of time now, so we have to stop here. I hope you can see how convenient this keto flour will be for you. And it actually might simplify your life and make the keto lifestyle much easier. I mean, it would be like having boxed baking mixes for everything. Just add wet ingredients, baking powder possibly, and possibly seasonings. I do have one recipe that's going to make you a pie crust, pizza crust, and pasta, and that will come up really soon. In our next live though, we are gonna be doing mug cakes with this flour. I'm pretty nervous because hello, there's chicken flour in there and <laughs> I don't know how that's going to bake with the sweet thing. I do hope you can join us though. If you have a recipe that you really want me to develop, please drop me a comment and let me know so I can include it in the list. This is Mel signing out for now. Stay safe and be well.